Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Anumas character of our world around us and today we, I would like to uh, point at few details concerning the behavior of people in big business. Mm, big business is always uh, behaving in a very characteristic way. What I mean by this goes as follows. I mean, in terms of profits, people in big business who are running it, are running big business, I mean, are always exactly the same. They are very egoistic and very possessive. It means if state wants to tax them, if state wants to force some uh, regulations which are uh, dedicated, uh, designed to keep some quality, uh, level, some safety standards and so on. Uh, people who are running big business always complain on uh, limitations, high costs of work and so on and so on. This is uh, one thing. When problem comes, like big business, I mean also in, it includes in this video big uh, finances or so big banks also, if something goes wrong and due to their mismanagement, people from big business run into trouble, they always press the politicians they finance, that's why they like democratics and especially socialistic governments. They always press politicians, pay to us, save us uh, by paying us the money from the taxpayer, uh, taxpayer uh, box, taxpayer money, because we are too big to fail, too big to fail. Whatever it means, nothing is too big to fail because each empire in the history, at the end of the day, doesn't matter how powerful, failed and the companies as well. But they claim such bullshit that they are too big to fail and they take public money, so money originated from the taxation of ordinary people to save their butts and their business. And there is also another thing, I mean, uh, so, uh, social, social wise, that uh, people whom they prefer big corporations to employ are childless and lonely people. Why? Why do they prefer employing such type of people? Because this is type of employees, they do not have family, so they dedicate much more to work and they treat uh, people at a working place as a pseudo family, let's say. But if they are fired, or too old or not so efficient anymore, they are fired from the job. No one will, uh, will you know, uh, uh, complain uh, in, in, for them. No one will defend them and no one will protest uh, bec uh, because of this what happened to them. This is one thing. And also uh, ch childless and uh, familyless people of course will not protest because they will be broken, they will not be organized, they are atomized, so they will not organize society that would defend their rights. And this is another feature of uh, such a uh, way of thinking of people from big business, that if they fire, uh, if they employ somebody like this, childless and familyless, and they fire them, I mean these guys from big business on big banks, they always push them on the social welfare. Because of course, profits for them, but costs, uh, because uh, needed to generate these profits or costs originated from generating these profits, they are pushing to the states, uh, to the state. That's why they like socialistic governments that give welfare state to people and monopoly for big business to uh, work and to act in their states, monopolies for their uh, economical actions. So we see that this connection is not healthy because a big business takes a very egoistically profits, but all costs are pushed to the state. Uh, that's why they like socialistic states because there are monopolies and welfare states, so all problems are taken by the state. But clearly we see that nowadays in the countries which are run by big business and socialistic governments, there are demographic problems because big uh, business and big banks 
are preferring to have childless and familyless people uh, and later they are pushed into social welfare but this system cannot work so well because there are not so not enough people to keep the system running young people that is why everything now is collapsing and now we see how egoistic and short-sighted socialistic governments and their uh, currently friends their allies are and their allies are big uh, big corporations and socialistic government this alliance is really little because it's really short-sighted uh, really uh, focused only on generating qu uh, generating quick profits and keeping population quiet and stupid with stupid neo-marxist ideologies it cannot work for long and it will finish badly if we don't stop it all the best have a nice day bye